What's up everybody, welcome to another day. Uh, you know, the last video I put up, I told you I was buying the EM1 Mark II and I have that, I'm recording on it right now. I'm actually using, is this even focus? I don't know. I'm using the uh, Panasonic 15mm f1.7, which does not focus well on Olympus bodies in video. Just a heads up there. Anyways, uh, today's all about a project I'm starting. I feel like now that I got the camera I need, um, I'm gonna start some projects and one of them is a zine. You know those things, little magazine things you make, they have like a collection of photos. But I thought about it, like I could do something for some of the travels I'm doing this year or maybe something for my daughter or my son uh, based on some of their sports or whatever, or just some street photography stuff. But I thought to myself, I want to kind of make the first thing I do not so over the top, not so difficult and uh, a little bit more achievable. So what I'm going to do is that there's this road in front of my house, 24 mile road. It's the 24th mile from Detroit. Oh, my dog. Anyways. And along that road, there's a lot of really just basic things like farm road, country stuff, nothing special. But there are a few things that stand out that kind of define stuff you'd see along 24 mile road. And my idea for this zine, just to kind of get started, just you gotta have a project to just get started, something just to kind of get you off the couch, get your camera in action, and actually take photos instead of talking about taking photos. So my idea is to capture this two or three mile stretch uh, of 24 mile road, the different things you'd see. And there's a couple interesting things. So today is uh, the beginning of that zine collection and I want to take you guys along with me. I want to tell you what I'm doing. That's my project. I'm gonna call this episode like zine episode one. If you're watching this, you already know that. And it's gonna be me uh, collecting the first photo from the zine. But there's one problem. The weather sucks right now. It's nasty outside, it's gross. And I kind of wanted to have like some sun in the background. So hopefully later today it clears up. Anyways, zine number one, I'm gonna go to work. That's why I'm wearing this attire. And by the way, check this out. Whenever I'm walking my dog, so I'm wearing my expensive dress shoes outside. Yeah, I got the grandpa, the grandpa tennis shoes on. Rocking that whole look. Anyways, we're getting started today. I'm gonna go to work. Afterwards, I'm gonna try and grab a photo and I'm bringing you guys along with me. So I'll see you afterwards. All right, guys, I'm back. Crazy day at work. Things were really good though. Everything went really, really well. So uh, first photo I'm trying to shoot is actually probably one of the hardest ones to get. It's technically not right off of 24. I know, kind of a bad start to this whole 24 thing. It's just like one, one, one thirty second of a mile south on a, a road called North Avenue. And uh, there's a sign that I see every day. It's a, a sign that's a religious sign, um, a Christian sign. And he changes, this guy changes it all the time. So if I'm going to provide context in this vlog, it's kind of some story. So this guy, he's an older gentleman. I've seen him cutting his grass and he goes out there and he paints these signs with religious slogans on them. Um, and he changes them all the time. So he just changed, I saw him change it the other day and I thought to myself, it'd be cool to get a, a picture of this sign because on my commute to work every day or back from work every day, I see this sign and, and it always changes it. So I always kind of look for it and it catches my eye. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna try and mount my, uh, you can't see it cause it's charging, hold on. I'm gonna try and mount my LX10 on the top of this camera cause I need to shoot with this camera and um, see if I can bring you guys along with me a little bit. But I'm a little nervous because it's alongside a road and I don't want to get hit by uh, a, a car, so we'll see. I also have the 15 1.7 on here, the uh, Panaleica lens. Uh, I'm gonna shoot a couple ones that are like that are wide and then I might put this 45 millimeter on as well to put it at a 90 millimeter equivalent focal length and see if it looks better wide or tight. I'm guessing wide's better, but I'll shoot it multiple ways. And uh, what I show you guys at the end of the video um, will probably I don't know if it's going to be fully edited or not. I'm going to try to edit them all together so the zine looks good. But this is photo number one, something I see all the time. Uh, let's switch cameras in and get it. All right, so now we're on the LX10. Um, this looks ridiculous, by the way. We have an OMD EM1 Mark II, a little, like, hot shoe mount, and then a big, not big, but it's a point-and-shoe LX10 on top. It's not quite the GoPro. I don't have a GoPro. I can't do that. So what I'm going to try and do now is get out of here and not get hit by a car and take a photo. Um, i got my two lenses with me, so I'll bring you guys along with me. Let's see if I don't get killed and people don't honk at me with a guy in business attire walking down the street, which is kind of weird, I know. So let's do that right now. I don't think uh, wingtips are the best for this for this setup. By the way, I'm not wearing my, my dad's shoes anymore. Look how loud it is. All right, 
flipping you around now to take a picture. Alright, so I just shot a few with the F 15mm F1.7. I'm gonna switch over to the 45 and try and get something tighter, and then we'll put both stuff afterwards and see uh, how they look. So, we switch this lens out. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Uh, it's a couple days later since I've shot that last set of photos. Um, spent some time editing a little bit. I only took a few. If you guys saw, it was uh, pretty quick because I was next to that busy road and I didn't really want to uh, spend a lot of time there so I didn't get hit by a bunch of cars. But it's a couple days later. I'm up early. I'm actually walking to my second photo, which I will tell you guys about in my next story. So I'm going to kind of edit this video and then move to the next one. But a couple quick thoughts. Um, two different sets of photos. One with a 15 millimeter and one with a 45 millimeter. I ended up going with the 45 millimeter. I like the more compressed look for that. Overall, I don't think the image was anything incredibly stellar, but it's part of a story. It's part of a photo story um, that's about the street in front of me, which it might be interesting to some of you guys. Um, if you live in the area, you might be more interested in it, but overall, I think the 45 was the way to go for that one. It just kind of compressed the sign and brought it more into focus. I'll show you guys that image right at the end of the video, but uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. It's kind of one of 20 or 30 photos, whatever I decide to do of this photo series. So episode one is over. Let me know what you guys think about the photo. And I'm actually headed out to my second photo right now. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.